Betty White in Life with Elizabeth, featuring Del Moore. Number one in the life of Elizabeth occurred just before the impending visit of Elizabeth's little niece, Kathy. Well, inasmuch as Kathy was only four years old, Elizabeth and Alvin had to do some studying up on the care and treatment of nieces. Elizabeth, how are you tonight? Well, I see you're getting ready for your little niece's visit, but what's Alvin going to do to make her happy? Why don't you call him in and let's find out. Alvin! Hi. Honey, do you think Kathy's going to like this? Oh, honey, that's real cute. Oh, you're a genius. <laughs> I want her to be happy while she's with us. <laughs> What's that? Mother Goose nursery rhymes. I thought I'd memorize some of them so I could tell them to Kathy at bedtime. <sighs> you're a good man, Alvin. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, I mean it. You're a good man. Well, thanks. Good, good man. Nothing more than but most anybody. Now, would. don't try to minimize it. You're a good man. Well, okay. A lot of men wouldn't go to all that trouble for a little girl, but you did. You're a good man. Thanks again. That's the wrong answer. What was I supposed to say? That's the wrong answer, too. Who made the doll dresses? Well, you did. I just told you. Oh, you're a good woman. <laughs> good woman. Thank you, sweetheart. You say the sweetest you. thing. <laughs> Why don't you read me some of those? <laughs> Seriously, it was a nice thought, honey. Oh, no. all righty. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see. What do, we, what do we... I know that one. Oh, here. Ding, dong, bell. Pussy's in the well. Who put her in? Little Johnny Green. The and... nasty little beast. <laughs> Can you sit there with that self-satisfied look on your face while the kid puts a cat in the well? Honey, I didn't write it. Well, you're reading it. Now, don't get excited. There's a moral to the whole thing. Listen to this. What a naughty boy was that to try to drown our pussycat. See? <laughs> That's like saying, I'll be vexed if you shoot Grandpa. Oh, let's skip that one. I I'm sorry, honey, but I feel very strongly about things like that. Well, so do I, honey. I just didn't notice it, that's all. We'll get another one. Let's see. Oh, here, here, this is the one. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Ha. <laughs> is that all? Yeah, that's all. What are they going to do, let him lie there? It's only a nursery rhyme. Humpty Dumpty was an egg. And now he's an omelet. I think that's horrible. Well, we'll just skip that one then. <clears throat> hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, and the cow jumped over the moon. Okay so far? Sure, that's cute. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with a spoon. <laughs> that's kidnapping. Maybe they mean the dish eloped with a spoon. <laughs> Well, then it's too advanced for Kathy. Honey, what else do you answer? Honey, I don't think it's too advanced. It's about a dish and a spoon. Kathy is four years old, and you want to teach her about spooning? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Well, I've got news for you. I'm not ashamed of myself. And how do you like them onions? Well, if you're going to talk like a child, the least you could do is be grammatical. How do you like them onions? I got my own stupid nursery rhymes in the other room. You stay right here. I'm not going to have you warping that child's mind without my help. No, ma'am. <laughs> if there's any warping of minds to be done, we'll do it together. Okay. Now, see if you can find one decent rhyme in that vulgar book. You going to stand up while I read this? Yes. Good, then I'll sit down. You're coward. Jack Spratt could eat no fat, and his wife could eat no lean. You keep Mom out of this. I didn't say one word about your mother. I know what you're thinking. So between them both, you see, they licked the platter clean. And I suppose you think that's table manners. I knew that. It teaches the kid to eat all of her food. It licked the stupid platter clean. Like a couple of pigs. Where did I say anything about a couple of pigs? Go ahead, show me. 
We're screaming at each other like a couple of fishmongers. I wish I were dead. So do I. Well, I don't. I purposely left out the part about Little Miss Muffet because you don't like spiders. Thanks a lot. Don't do me any favors. I won't. See if this will please your majesty. Little Jack Horner sat in the corner eating his Christmas pie. His Christmas pie. Make something out of that. Go on, read the rest of it. That's the part I can't stand. He stuck in his thumb and he pulled out a plum and he said, what a good boy am I. What's wrong with that? His manners are worse than Jack Spratt. Jack Spratt's manners. He licked the stupid platter clean, didn't he? I'd hate to see what he'd do with a bowl of soup. Elizabeth Allison, you've got to get this in your mind. Go ahead, be friends with a bunch of pigs. See if I care. Pigs? I suppose Humpty Dumpty was a pig. He's an egg. Well, what about the king's men? Don't you tell me. If Jack Spratt wants to eat some fat, and if Johnny Green wants to push that cat in the well, he can... Look at the mess they made. Push... And I don't think because it's a matter of... Somebody you... said... Listen, I'm talking about... <laughs> oh, oh my honey. Mind. Aren't we a couple of dopes? Oh, <laughs> what should we do with this? Throw it away? No, it never hurt us when we were kids. <laughs> but I think you better leave me at this point. Why? I'm not fit to live with. All right. I shall leave you at this point. Why? Because you're not fit to live with. Good night, sweetie. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Elizabeth, aren't you ashamed? 